Welcome to How to Build a Gaming PC Part 2 Assembly. My name is Matt and in this episode I will show you how to install some of the components showcased in Part 1, such as power supply, CPU, and RAM. If you missed Part 1, click on the link above. It's a complete shopping list of the parts you will need to build this computer. Let's get started. First you will need a workspace that is free of static. Tile or hardwood floor is best to work on. Phillips screwdriver and a knife are the only tools required to assemble the computer. Clear your desk and grab your case. Remove all four thumb screws located at each corner of the back of the case. Once the thumb screws have been removed, slide both panels off and put them aside. Remove the box of accessories located in your case. Inside you will find a small bag of tie straps, hardware and the instruction manual. Put these aside, we will use it later. First we are going to install the power supply. Inside the box you will find the manual, bag of screws, and the power supply itself. Grab the power supply and slide it into the case under the metal tab. Make sure the four screw holes align with the case here, 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 and here. Use these screws provided with the power supply to mount the unit. Next, we are going to install the components onto the motherboard. Remove the I.O. shield, two SATA cables, manual and disk from the box and set it aside. Now carefully remove the motherboard. This is the most sensitive component to static. Gently place it on the anti-static bag provided. Now it is important to familiarize yourself with the basic parts of the motherboard. Here is the CPU socket. Slots for RAM, PCI Express slots, and SATA connectors. Grab your Intel Core i5 CPU. We will be installing it into the CPU socket. Cut the box open not to damage the contents. Remove the fan and set it aside. Carefully pull out the chip and set it aside. Notice the small marking on the bottom corner. A similar marking is also on the CPU socket. This marker is there to help you with the orientation of the CPU. After opening the plastic covering, handle the CPU by the edges. Make sure the two notches on the side match the corresponding notches on the CPU socket. You are now ready to install the chip. Simply open the socket clip and remove the protective plastic. Gently rest the CPU down into the socket and remember not to apply any pressure. Once the chip is resting in place, firmly press down the socket clip and click it in. We are now ready for the stock Intel cooler. Thermal paste has already been applied by the factory. Align the cooler over the CPU and put the four pegs inside the holes on the motherboard. Push down firmly on opposite corners until the pins penetrate the board. Then secure the remaining pins the same way. If the cooler fan is fastened properly, you should be able to lift up the motherboard with it. Next, we will be installing RAM. When installing two sticks of RAM, it is recommended you install them into the white sockets, DDR3, 1, and 2, as shown above. Open the clips up on the motherboard. Handle your RAM carefully by the edges. Ensure the notch on the RAM aligns with the notches on the RAM slots and push down evenly until the clip snaps into place. There you have it. Your motherboard is ready to install into the case. That takes us to the end of part two in this series. If you liked this video or it helped you in any way, remember to give me the thumbs up or subscribe. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, then click the link above for part 3, Assembly, where you will finish installing the remaining components such as the motherboard, graphics card, and drives. Click on Top Hat Productions if you live in the greater Toronto area and you are interested in computer workshops or video productions. I would enjoy helping others build their first computer. Again, thanks for listening.